Could this little device be the game changer in the detection of the coronavirus? Helen Lee and her team from Diagnostics for the Real World in Cambridge designed this diagnostic device especially for developing countries to help them detect HIV under often difficult conditions. We knew the machine had to be stable, easy to use, that can be placed anywhere and run by anybody so that it can be used in developing countries where resources are truly limited. Detecting HIV was only the starting point. In theory, the device could detect any virus or bacteria, like flu or hepatitis. When coronavirus infection showed up in the world, none of us is prepared for it. So everybody was scrambling to react to the virus, how to detect it, how to treat it, how to prevent it. Helen Lee immediately saw the potential of Samba 2 when it became evident that COVID-19 would become a dangerous pandemic for the whole world. In less than three months, she and her team developed the test to detect SARS-CoV-2. It was a very uh, challenging but also exciting time because we were faced with a new problem we have never faced before. And the speed with which we had to develop the test is quite amazing. So we were doing it on the fly, day and night, putting every effort, every ounce of our brain into making it good, making it fast, and applying it as soon as we can. What we do is we design the test so that it can detect the genetic sequence that is specific to the virus. If the sample contains this virus, we then chemically amplify these two sequences to the billionth fold and then detect it visually so that if it's one line, it's negative because that's an internal control. It shows that the chemistry work. And if it's a two line or three line, then it's positive. One of the most difficult obstacles Helen Lee had to overcome was to change Samba 2 from blood and plasma samples to swab samples. The sample for coronavirus is a throat and a nose swab and often is full of mucus. So it's not only difficult, but it's also variable between individuals. And that was one of the first challenges we had to face. Unlike many diagnostic methods, the Samba 2's chemistry does not generate poisonous cyanide, which makes other devices difficult to use. The Samba 2 machine is very simple to operate. It is small, the size of a coffee machine, and it can be operated anywhere by anyone. Secondly, it's very safe because the buffer in which we put the swab in kills the virus very quickly. So you do not need a laboratory or a biosafety hood to work on the sample. Actually, the buffer that we use that inactivates the virus, making it safe so that it can be used anywhere, is the subject of a patent application. All the testing is done in the device. There is no need to send the test to a centralized lab. And after approximately 90 minutes, you have a reliable results. It's a real point of care device. When Professor Ravindra Gupta, virologist from the University of Cambridge, met Helen Lee, he immediately understood the importance of Samba. When the first wave arrived, we were overwhelmed at the hospital. It's a big hospital um, and we test not only our own patients, but other patients in other hospitals in the area. And there were just too many tests coming through the lab, uh, the standard lab, and the, the results were taking anywhere between two and five days to come back. And clearly, when people are coming in sick, you need to make a decision quickly as to whether they have COVID or not. And so that was a big problem. So we needed something like Samba. We needed a rapid test. The patients can be tested soon after arrival at the hospital. And more importantly, so can hospital staff. They can then continue their work safely. It was a national emergency. 
we got within one week uh, ethical approval to do a comparison between Samba and our standard laboratory test. And we ran a clinical study in 170 patients. The average time to results was 10 times faster with the Samba compared to the standard lab. And we also showed a number of other things such that patients were able to move through the hospital more quickly and more safely. We freed lots of capacity in our isolation rooms where people worry that you're going to lose accuracy, but we were really impressed with this because we saw no loss of accuracy. We have already implemented uh, Samba in the National Health Service in the United Kingdom in almost 20 hospitals and we are now just discussing for the phase two contract. Helen Lee's vision of using Samba 2 in developed countries became a reality, but that's not where the story ends. Dentists and medical doctors, football teams, film production companies and businesses of all kinds and even individuals inquire about the Samba 2. The small, robust device once conceived to detect HIV, became a game changer in the detection of SARS-CoV-2 in the UK.